Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Brussels, the capital city of Belgium which is known for its stunning architecture, vibrant cultural scene and delicious cuisine. It's a city that's steeped in history and has a lot to offer visitors, from its charming old town to its world-class museums and galleries. Make sure to watch until the end as we've saved the best thing to do in Brussels for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Brussels is the capital city of Belgium and is located in the central part of the country. It's situated in the Brussels capital region which is one of the three federal regions of Belgium. Brussels is also the de facto capital of the European Union, as it hosts several important EU institutions. As of 2021, the population of the Brussels capital region is estimated to be around 1.2 million people. This makes it the most densely populated region in Belgium, as well as one of the most densely populated regions in Europe. Brussels is a multicultural city with a diverse population that includes both native Belgians and people from many different countries around the world. French and Dutch are the two official languages of Brussels, although English is also widely spoken, especially in international business and diplomatic circles. Foodies will fall in love with Brussels, which is known for its delicious cuisine. Belgian waffles, chocolates and beers are famous around the world and there are plenty of places in the city where you can try them. Brussels is also home to several interesting neighbourhoods, each with its own unique character. The Marol district is famous for its flea market, while Saint-Gilles is known for its trendy bars and restaurants. Brussels is a beautiful and fascinating city that has something to offer everyone. Whether you're interested in history, art, food or culture, you're sure to find something to love about this vibrant city. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. The history of Brussels dates back to the 10th century, when it was founded as a small fortress town. It later grew in importance as a centre of trade and commerce and became the capital of the Duchy of Brabant in the 15th century. During the 16th and 17th centuries, Brussels became an important center of the arts and sciences and was home to many famous artists, writers and philosophers. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the city played a key role in the development of Belgium as a modern industrial nation and became an important center of European politics and diplomacy. Today, it's a multicultural city with a rich and diverse history. Now let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. Visit the Parc du Cinquantenaire. The Parc du Cinquantenaire, also known as the Jubel Park, is a beautiful public park located in the eastern part of Brussels. It was created in 1880 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Belgium's independence and has since become one of the city's most popular destinations for locals and tourists alike. The park covers an area of 74 hectares and features stunning gardens, walking paths and fountains. One of the park's most famous features is the Triumphal Arch, a beautiful neoclassical structure that was built to commemorate Belgium's 50th anniversary. The arch is located at the end of a grand avenue, which is lined with beautiful trees and leads to the arch. The Parc du Cinquantenaire is also home to several museums, including the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History, which is located inside the Triumphal Arch. This museum houses an impressive collection of military artifacts, including weapons, uniforms and vehicles, and offers a fascinating glimpse into Belgium's military history. Another museum located within the park is the Auto World Museum, which is dedicated to the history of the automobile. It features a collection of over 250 cars, including vintage and rare models, and provides visitors with a fascinating look at the evolution of the automobile. The Parc du Cinquantenaire is a beautiful and fascinating destination that offers something for everyone. 
Whether you're interested in history, military artefacts or cars, there's plenty to see and do in this stunning park. Number 9. Go on a chocolate tasting tour. Going on a chocolate tasting tour in Brussels is a must-do experience for anyone with a sweet tooth or a love of chocolate. Brussels is known around the world for its delicious chocolate and there are many chocolatiers and chocolate shops in the city that offer tours and tastings. During a chocolate tasting tour, you'll have the opportunity to visit several different chocolate shops and taste a variety of chocolates. You'll learn about the history of chocolate in Brussels, as well as the different types of chocolate and how they are made. One of the highlights of a chocolate tasting tour in Brussels is the chance to try some of the city's most famous chocolate specialities, including pralines and truffles. These delicious treats are made with high quality chocolate and filled with a variety of tasty fillings, such as nuts, fruit and cream. In addition to tasting chocolate, you'll also have the opportunity to learn about the different techniques used to make chocolate, including tempering and moulding. You'll get an inside look at the process of making chocolate and the skill and expertise that goes into creating these delicious treats. Overall, going on a chocolate tasting tour in Brussels is a fun and delicious experience that's sure to satisfy your sweet tooth. It's a great way to learn about the history and culture of chocolate in Brussels, as well as to sample some of the best chocolate in the world. Number 8. Explore the Marolles District The Marolles District is a trendy and eclectic neighbourhood located in the heart of Brussels. It's known for its bohemian vibe, trendy shops and cafes, and its famous flea market, which is held every day except Monday. Exploring the Marolles district is a must-do experience for anyone visiting Brussels. The neighbourhood is full of character and charm, with narrow streets and alleys, colourful houses and beautiful architecture. One of the main attractions of the Marolles district is the daily flea market, which is located on the Place du Jeu de Bâle. This bustling market is a treasure trove of antiques, vintage items and second-hand goods and is a great place to find unique souvenirs and gifts. In addition to the flea market, the Marolles district is also home to several interesting shops and cafes. You'll find trendy boutiques selling everything from vintage clothing to handmade jewellery, as well as artisanal food shops and cafes serving delicious coffee and pastries. One of the highlights of exploring the Marolles district is simply wandering around and soaking up the atmosphere. The neighbourhood is full of surprises, and you never know what you might discover around the next corner. Overall, exploring the Marolles district in Brussels is a fun and memorable experience that's well worth the effort. Whether you're a fan of vintage shopping, trendy cafes or simply soaking up the local culture, you're sure to find something to love about this charming and eclectic neighbourhood. Number 7. Visit the Royal Palace of Brussels The Royal Palace of Brussels is a beautiful neoclassical building located in the heart of Brussels. It's the official residence of the King and Queen of Belgium, although it's only used for official ceremonies and events, as the royal family actually lives in a palace in Laeken, a suburb of Brussels. While the Royal Palace is not open to the public year-round, it's open to visitors during the summer months, from July to September. During this time, visitors can explore the palace's beautiful rooms and halls, which are filled with art and antiques from the Royal Collection. One of the highlights of a visit to the Royal Palace is the chance to see the beautiful mirror room, which is decorated with stunning chandeliers and mirrors, and is used for official receptions and ceremonies. Visitors can also see the impressive throne room, which is decorated with beautiful tapestries and is where the King and Queen receive their guests. Another interesting room in the palace is the Goya Room, which is named after the famous Spanish artist Francisco de Goya. It features a beautiful ceiling fresco, painted by Goya, and is filled with beautiful furniture and art from the Royal Collection. 
Overall, a visit to the Royal Palace of Brussels is a unique and memorable experience that offers a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture of Belgium's royal family. Whether you're interested in art, history or simply exploring beautiful buildings, a visit to the Royal Palace is definitely worth considering. Number 6. Join a beer tasting tour. A beer tasting tour in Brussels is a fun and unique way to explore the city's rich beer culture and history. Belgium is known around the world for its delicious and diverse beers, and a beer tasting tour is a great way to sample some of the best beers the country has to offer. During a beer tasting tour, you'll visit several different breweries and bars in Brussels, each offering a unique selection of beers to taste. You'll have the opportunity to learn about the brewing process and the history of beer in Brussels as well as to sample a variety of different beers, from light and refreshing lagers to dark and rich stouts. One of the highlights of a beer tasting tour in Brussels is the chance to try some of the city's most famous beer styles, such as Lambic and Trappist beers. Lambic beers are made using spontaneous fermentation and are typically tart and fruity, while Trappist beers are brewed by monks in Trappist monasteries and are known for their rich and complex flavours. In addition to tasting beer, you'll also learn about the culture and traditions of beer drinking in Belgium, including the proper way to pour and serve beer. You'll get an inside look at the Belgian beer scene and the passion and pride that goes into making these delicious and unique beers. Overall, a beer tasting tour in Brussels is a fun and memorable experience that's sure to satisfy any beer lover's taste buds. Whether you're a fan of light and refreshing beers, or rich and complex brews, there's something for everyone to enjoy on a beer tasting tour in Brussels. Number 5. Try Belgian Waffles Belgian waffles are a delicious and iconic treat that originated in Belgium and are now enjoyed around the world. While there are many different types of waffles, Belgian waffles are known for their large size, fluffy texture and crispy exterior. In Brussels, you'll find a wide variety of waffle shops and cafes serving up this tasty treat. Belgian waffles are typically made with a yeast batter and are cooked in a special waffle iron that creates deep pockets and a crispy exterior. One of the things that make Belgian waffles so special is the variety of toppings and sauces that can be added to them. Traditionally, Belgian waffles are served with a dusting of powdered sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. However, many shops and cafes in Brussels offer a wide range of toppings, including fresh fruit, chocolate sauce, Nutella and ice cream. Belgian waffles are not only delicious, but they also have a rich cultural history. They first became popular in Brussels in the 19th century and have since become an iconic symbol of Belgian cuisine. Waffles are also an important part of Belgian culture and are often enjoyed as a snack or dessert with friends and family. Whether you're a fan of sweet treats or simply looking for a unique and delicious culinary experience, Belgian waffles are sure to satisfy your cravings and leave you with a sweet taste of Belgium. Number 4. Explore the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium The Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium is a collection of museums located in Brussels that house a vast collection of artworks, including paintings, sculptures and drawings. The museum is divided into several sections, each dedicated to a different period or style of art. One of the highlights of the Royal Museums of Fine Arts is the collection of Flemish art, which includes works by famous artists such as Rubens, Bruegel and Van Eyck. The museum also has a strong collection of 19th and 20th century art, including works by Belgian artists such as James Esnor and René Magritte. In addition to the permanent collection, the Royal Museums of Fine Arts also hosts several temporary exhibitions throughout the year, featuring works by both Belgian and international artists. These exhibitions offer visitors the opportunity to see a wide range of contemporary and historical art and to discover new artists and styles. 
Visiting the Royal Museums of Fine Arts is a must-do experience for anyone interested in art and culture. The museum's vast collection offers a fascinating glimpse into the history and development of art in Belgium and Europe, from the medieval period to the present day. Whether you're a fan of classic Flemish art or contemporary works, there's something for everyone at the Royal Museums of Fine Arts. With its beautiful galleries, impressive collection and exciting exhibitions, the museum is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting Brussels. Number 3. Visit the Atomium and see Mini Europe. The Atomium and Mini Europe are two popular tourist attractions located on the Heisel Plateau in Lycan, a suburb of Brussels. The Atomium is an iconic steel structure that was built for the 1958 World Expo and has since become a symbol of Brussels. Mini Europe, on the other hand, is a miniature park that features scaled-down replicas of famous European landmarks. The Atomium offers visitors the opportunity to climb to the top of the structure and enjoy stunning panoramic views of Brussels. The structure is made up of nine interconnected spheres, each containing exhibitions and displays related to science, art and design. The Atomium also hosts several temporary exhibitions throughout the year, featuring a variety of different themes and subjects. Mini Europe, on the other hand, offers visitors the chance to explore scaled-down replicas of famous European landmarks, including the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Colosseum. The park features over 350 models, each created with great attention to detail and accuracy. Visitors can stroll through the park and marvel at the tiny versions of these famous landmarks, while also learning about the history and culture of Europe. Overall, a visit to the Atomium and Mini Europe is a unique and memorable experience that offers something for everyone. Whether you're interested in science and technology or history and culture, there's plenty to see and do at these two popular attractions. With its stunning views and fascinating exhibitions, the Atomium is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting Brussels. And with its impressive collection of miniature landmarks, Mini Europe is a fun and educational attraction that's sure to delight visitors of all ages. Number 2. See the Mannequin Piece The Mannequin Piece is a famous statue located in the heart of Brussels. The statue depicts a small bronze boy urinating into a fountain and has become one of the most iconic symbols of the city. The origins of the statue are somewhat unclear, but it's thought to have been created in the early 17th century. Over the years, the Mannequin Piece has become a beloved figure in Brussels and is dressed up in various costumes and outfits throughout the year to celebrate different events and holidays. One of the reasons why the Mannequin Piece is so special is its unique and quirky appearance. The statue is small, standing just over 60 centimeters tall, and depicts a boy in a playful and mischievous pose. Despite its small size, the statue has a big personality and has become a beloved figure in Brussels. In addition to the statue itself, visitors can also explore the surrounding area, which is filled with shops, cafes and other attractions. The Mannequin Piece is located in the charming neighbourhood of the Old Town, which is home to many beautiful buildings and historic landmarks. Overall, the Mannequin Piece is a fun and quirky attraction that's sure to delight visitors of all ages. Whether you're a fan of art, history or simply looking for a unique and memorable experience in Brussels, a visit to the Mannequin Piece is a must-do experience for anyone visiting Brussels. Number 1. Visit the Grand Place The best thing to do in Brussels is to explore the Grand Place. The Grand Place is a historic square located in the heart of Brussels. It's one of the most famous and beautiful squares in Europe and has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Grand Place is surrounded by magnificent buildings, including the Town Hall, the King's House and the Guild Houses, all of which date back to the 17th century. One of the things that make the Grand Place so special is its stunning architecture and intricate design. The buildings surrounding the square feature beautiful facades with ornate carvings and decorative details, and the town hall in particular is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture. 
Visiting the Grand Place is a must-do experience for anyone visiting Brussels. The square is steeped in history and offers visitors the opportunity to see some of the city's most iconic landmarks up close. Visitors can explore the square and admire the beautiful buildings or simply relax and soak up the atmosphere at one of the many cafes and restaurants that line the perimeter. In addition to its historical and cultural significance, the Grand Place is also home to several events and festivals throughout the year. One of the most famous is the biennial flower carpet, which sees the entire square covered in a stunning floral display. Other events include concerts, exhibitions and cultural celebrations. Overall, the Grand Place is a must-visit destination for anyone visiting Brussels. Its stunning architecture, rich history and vibrant cultural scene make it one of the most iconic and beautiful squares in Europe and a must-see attraction for anyone exploring the city. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Brussels. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time.